Hi everyone, I'm here with another update on my work for you. Late last Saturday, our state endured a mass shooting in Monterey Park, followed by another in Half Moon Bay. My heart goes out to the victims and their families during this difficult period. This week I joined my colleagues on the House floor for a moment of silence to remember the lives lost and the families affected by these unthinkable tragedies. America has the most mass shootings of any country in the world. It must stop. We have the power to end the gun violence epidemic. We just need the political will to do it. And I'll work with any member of Congress on common sense measures that will prevent gun violence. This week, I also announced the introduction of my second bill of the 118th Congress, the Public Land Renewable Energy Development Act. This bill will help combat the climate crisis and reduce our dependence on fossil fuels by promoting the responsible development of wind, solar, and geothermal energy on public lands. Meanwhile, during this same week, House Republicans brought forth a bill to expand drilling on public lands. This is not the time to go backwards on our commitment to clean energy. We must embrace a renewable energy future to ensure the survival of our planet for future generations. Last week was a district work period, and I spent it meeting with constituents, local elected officials, and attended a Martin Luther King Jr. prayer breakfast to honor the civil rights leader. I also visited Miracosta College's Technology Career Institute, or TCI, to announce that I secured $1 million in federal funds for the Institute's workforce training programs. This funding will help the TCI prepare students for high-demand, high-skilled jobs in engineering and biotechnology and give workers the skills they need to compete in a global economy. Lastly, on Saturday, January 22nd, we recognize what would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Will we continue to navigate the landscape after the Supreme Court's decision? Please know I will always support a woman's right to choose what to do with her body. That's all for now. Have a great weekend, everyone.